I know many are looking at my picture behind me and like, what is he showing me? Because I was one that always told you that, yes, we could leave. You can go beyond the firmament. And no one wanted to look. No one wanted to hear me out. Everybody just, oh, nobody can leave the dome. Nobody can leave the dome. And here I show you continuously. I've reached the Akashic Records having a spiritual awakening through meditation. And I explain it. And like I said, I didn't get this following just off the talk. I began to show it as I am now. I always told you that 13 was significant. Many believe that we have seven to eight common chakras. It goes beyond. And always keep the spiral in mind because I've been on that heavy lately. Right now, they're not showing the beginning of my video, so I don't even know if y'all gonna get this full video because this is what they do to my content. Now you scream that we can't get past the dome. Why do I have this imagery behind me? Because you can pass the dome. You have to pass your own dome. But wait, there's more. Everything was reconstructed off of the human body. Why you see first shift here, second shift here. Didn't I explain the real work to y'all? And they use these terms and they throw it back in y'all face and y'all waste energy. Because I explained to you that you are a light being. But some of y'all are light years behind. <laughs> Peace, God. And I'd like to apologize to my following because I, the main thing was teaching you how to transfer over, not getting caught up in the government experiments and conspiracies. It was always to get your body to change over. And I have many explanations showing you through meditation, showing you through eating right, showing you through getting back to nature, because that is the underlying theme here. You don't have to worry about nothing else as long as you do these things. Now, as it states, physiologically, you can't see the next chakras as clearly as above the five below. But we will see the same phenomena in the upper part of the body after the spiral exits the fifth chakra. And it took me many years to when I had to realize that our thoughts as a light wave, as a wave period, um, everything spirals up. And this means your manifestation. This means your so-called prayers, etc. It has to reach the higher realm and come back down, like I explained, like the signal. So a lot of stuff, they, some of y'all stuff don't even spiral all the way up. It evaporates before it even gets to a higher realm or a higher part to where it can manifest itself into real time. You understand what I'm saying? So even when I listened to my teacher then, this, he wasn't showing me. I had to have the own imagery in my head at the time, but then again, still do the physical work. Now I'm at a point to where I can show you. And this is why I continue continuously say the spiral, the spiral it will come back 360, it'll come back 369, even the numbers, 45 degrees, it comes back into nine, which comes back into 369, which three comes back into itself. That's why it's always the, the number 13 was always behind 369. That's why I told y'all that it was so-called the secret, but it wasn't a secret as it states. The chakra system goes all the way up through the body and through the head, but then there the head there's a there's a um there's a separate mini chakra system, and you have one within your face as well. All of this is a is a system. It's like your body is made out of three different systems, and if you learn how to operate them um in unison or or one then then <clears throat> excuse me, then you will be um functionally way better uh, physically spiritually mentally et cetera. Now, I've always could go into detail. Um, as it states here, the chakra points are located the tip of the chin, the mouth, the tip of the nose, the eyes, the third eye. The other three are inside the head that cannot be seen unless we study the internal parts of the brain. And they already have these measurements because I show you on videos they can measure consciousness. They, they already have the they measure your brain waves. They measure your, 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 your life force, your will. They have all of these things. They can tell who's who, but you still can't. I want to give you Leonardo's um, human canon real quick because he was already seeing this and was trying to like see the pathways through the whole body. Because like I said, this is light waves of information. Once you begin to see, actually see, it's like you will really see patterns. You will really see design. You will really see this type of, um, it's not necessarily a binary code, but there is something within this structure that you will begin to see that's like it's behind the scenes. And this is a perfect example. So 
I'm going to use myself as an example, as I always stated, examine self. You back, you go back into my, my, my beginning of my videos, I always told you to use self. Use yourself. You are the proof. Now, your face, everything dealing with your face, your eyes, nose, lips, everything is dealing with a 90-degree angle. 369. I keep saying it. 369. No matter how big the numbers are, no matter how small, they will always fall back into each other. It was also mentioned that a Nephilim or a giant was the one who left this knowledge behind, was telling us that we could leave. But everybody got y'all hating the giants. But here I am showing y'all we used to work together. Our real human history is of serpentine race and within the giants. But here I am, content blocked. Here I am, not being seen. This is not my first rodeo. This is not my first video of trying to get you to see the half step within the body and showing you to raise your kundalini energy up so you can vibrate higher, so you can so you can bring these words, excuse me, so you can bring these words into real time so they can manifest for you. Like I said, you have to apply the information. Many come with it, but they don't teach you how to apply it to everyday life. Peace, God. Follow me for more content.